Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study the metric system. And I wrote here a very important table for you to study. It has metric units of length, the ones we are using most often, and a few others. You are probably familiar with millimeters, centimeters, meters and kilometers. But did you know that there are a few other units too that are in between, so to speak, because the factor between each two units is always 10. So 10 millimeters makes one centimeter and 10 centimeters makes a decimeter and then 10 decimeters makes a meter and so on. Okay, so from meter to kilometer, the factor is thousand, as you know, but there's actually two units that are not used in normal life. But they are there anyway, decameter and hectometer. Now, kilometer, the word kilo here means thousand, so that's why this is thousand meters. The word hecto meaning hundred, so this is why hectometer is hundred meters. And so on, decameter is ten meters. Meter is the basic unit for length. Then decimeter is one tenth of a meter. Deci here meaning one tenth. Centimeter, cent is meaning one hundredth. And then milli here is meaning one thousandth. And the same kind of table would be done for any kind of metric unit, such as for volume, we would use liters. So we would just replace the word meter here with liter. Milliliter, centiliter, deciliter, liter, decaliter, hectoliter, kiloliter, or gram, milligram, centigram, and so on. Okay? Let's do some conversions. Each one of these is going to be converted into meters to the basic unit. And for that, we can basically think of this prefix here and what it means. For example, I'll show you seven millimeters. Milli means one thousandth. So seven milli would mean seven thousandths. Seven thousandths is a decimal number. So we just write it here. This is seven thousandths and then meter here, the basic unit. Okay, so that's how the conversion went. Eight centimeters, centi means one hundredth. So here we have eight hundredths of a meter. So we write here the decimal eight hundredths and then write meter. Five decimeters, deci means one tenth. So here we have five tenths, like this, and then meter. Six kilometers, kilo meaning thousand. So here we have 6,000. So I just write it out as a number and then meter. Four hectometers, hecto meaning 100, so I have 400 meters. And then deca here meaning 10, 3, 10, 3 tens, 30 meters. Some more examples where we don't have just a single digit number here. 30 millimeters. But again, milli just means a thousandth. So I have here 30 thousandths, let me write it here as a fraction, 30 thousandths of a meter. As a decimal though, you know decimals, fractions to decimals, so this is 30 thousandths of a meter. 90 centimeters, centi meaning one hundredth, so this is 90 hundredths of a meter, or like this. 0 0.90, 90 hundredths of a meter. Okay? And here you could simplify it to 0 0.9 meters if you want to or if your book tells you to. If this is actually a measurement in physical science of some sort, then you would not want to drop the zero here. Okay? 2050 millimeters. Milli is a thousandth part. Okay? So 2050 thousandths of a meter. Okay? Now you probably see that 2000, if it was 2000, it would have been exactly 2 meters, because 2000 over 1000 would be exactly 2. So the way I do it is I know that there's going to be 2 meters and then the rest of the digit follow after the decimal point. Here one more time is a table about the prefixes. This table can be used with any kind of unit, like I said, gram, or liter, or meter, or watts. You might have kilowatts, or watts and kilowatts, okay? All kinds of units used in science. 
the meanings are here also. The abbreviations K, H, D, A, and so on. What is it, Matthew? I forgot some units. Oh, that's true, because it does continue. Okay, he's saying that he weighs 7 megagrams. 7 megagrams? Okay. I don't know, Matthew, I think you just weigh a few decigrams. How did you get that? 7 megagrams. Mammoths weigh, maybe, maybe they do. Mega, as a prefix, means a million. So this would be 7 million grams. Now, usually we would say that as 7,000 kilograms, by the way. And if you're into computers, you probably have heard of giga, tera, gigabytes, terabytes. Giga would be a billion, and so on. So there are other prefixes besides these, also towards the smaller numbers. Let's do a few more exercises. Nine deciliters into the basic unit, liters. Deci, meaning a tenth. So I have nine tenths. And so decimal, 0.9. 70 milliliters. Okay, milli is thousandth. So I have 70 thousandths of a liter as a decimal like this. Two kilograms, kilo is thousand. So I have 2000 here. Five hectograms, hecto meaning hundred. So 500 grams. I'm just changing these towards the basic unit here. Each one of these 62 centigrams, 62 hundredths of a gram. So this is 62 hundredths as a decimal. And then 128 milligrams, 128 thousandths of a gram. Like that. And then Matthew's weight, 7 million grams. Two more, 25 decimeters. Deci meaning tenth part. So I have 25 tenths of a meter, and uh, you can either use fraction math to say that this is going to be 2 and 5 tenths, or you can think that, well, if it had been 20, I would get exactly 2 meters, and then the 0.5 will follow uh, after the 2. Here, 670 centigrams, 670 hundredths of a gram. Okay, this makes 6 whole grams, doesn't it? and then the point 0.70 after that. 